<clears throat> yes, thank you, thank you guys again for tuning back to my channel. Last time I mentioned to you that we do popo farming and so many people requested that I do some more videos towards it. And today I just want to show you how we do the irrigation on our popo parcel. And this parcel is located in Kirenyaga County, just near the Makutano Junction. So I will be organizing a field visit very soon. And I will be inviting you guys to join me to come and see the work that we are doing there. So we do surface irrigation. But just to add, we already have a borehole on the farm. So that is the water that we use. So as you have seen that long pipe that leads water to this parcel. And then at the end of it, we have some many small pipes. So some of them are straight. Some of them like this one are L-shaped to make sure that we can navigate the pipe around the farm without obstacles when we want to beat a corner so this is how we do we do it and the objective is to make sure that we deliver between 25 to 30 liters of water per plant and that normally would take um, with the, the pump output we have we can do that within two to four minutes so depending on the borehole volume so if borehole has a lot of water it can take like two minutes so this is how we do it, two minutes or four minutes for us to deliver 25 liters of water per plant. So as you can imagine, if you have a bigger parcel, this mode of irrigation can be very time consuming because you know you can only do like maybe 15 plants per hour or 20 plants per hour. You don't want to starve them. You want to ensure that they get enough water. So you do 20 to 15 plants per hour. So some people like on our parcel, we have like three small parcels around the house and sometimes it can be very, very labor intensive. But uh, that did not stop us from getting into this venture because uh, as I showed you the calculations in my previous video, it can be very, very lucrative. And also near Makutano, there is a processing plant near Makutano Junction. There is a processing plant that has been opened. And that plant has actually provided market for these crops. Uh, you know, any horticultural crops, especially fruits, are now a hot cake around Kirinyaga County because of that factory. So they are buying the fruits to make paste, to make juices, to pro to make... Um, they are also doing cold pressing for, for oil from nuts. So they are buying macadamia and those kind of stuff. So that's why we saw this as a huge opportunity. And our next stop will be setting up a solar water pump system so that we can reduce our electricity bill and also uh, installing a drip irrigation so that also we can reduce our, our requirement in terms of labor. Uh, so this is a nice venture. I will keep you updated. So make sure that you tune in into my every video when I go to the village, hopefully or twice a month or once a month when I have the opportunity. So this is how we do it. But now, once we finish watering, we will do what we call mulching. So we will place some plant residues around the, the, the foot of each crop or of each plant so that we can a bit reduce the, the intensity of evaporation. Because this water that we are placing here, we do it once a week when there is rain or when it is a bit, uh, you know, cloudy. But on a dry season like this one, we try to do it uh, twice a week. So it is very, very intensive. The only advantage we have is that the borehole is ours. And the only cost we are incurring at this time is um, is the electricity bill. So thank you guys for, for watching. Uh, tune in into my next one. And I promise you it will be, you know, more evolved because the crops will have you know grown up a bit a little bit the fruits will have you know grown bigger and you know close to maturity and i want to give you updates of each and every step that we undergo in this parcel okay guys so drop a comment drop you know a question and i will address them as best as i can okay cheers and thank you